Hi everyone, welcome back to another For Those Who Code video. This channel is about learning and sharing skills about code and design. If you want to grow your skills and learn new things that's coming up, please like, share and subscribe for more. I have divided this video into multiple parts where we'll go through all the necessary skills you need to have to learn and build your websites in Gatsby and Prismic a headless CMS. So first of all, what is Gatsby? Gatsby is a modern framework for building a highly performant and accessible sites. It's powered by React and GraphQL for our data layer and it's super fast because it's, it is um, served via CDN and it serves static sites. So you must be wondering uh, about the term static sites, right? So for, to clarify the term static sites, let's take a look at the uh, traditional full stack CMS architecture on our left, where we may have a hosting where we will have our application hosted and it may consist of a different uh, modules like form, auth, analytics, um, integration or search module, personalization module and it may also have a, a presentation UI layer in other words we can call it view and we have a content editing UI, uh, the access to edit and add contents as per needed and definitely we will also need a database where all the data that we need for the application is stored. Generally, this kind of full stack CMS architecture, which is traditional based, is uh, provided by normal WordPress, Drupal, and others. Now, let's take a look at uh, the diagram on the right, where we will have the modular headless CMS architecture. And on our right, uh, the power of uh, Gatsby really signs on. Actually, Gatsby is capable of taking uh, the data points from uh, different data sources like a headless CMS or maybe a headless e-commerce or even internal APIs that we created and many other services like WordPress as a headless CMS or Drupal or we can also integrate Shopify or um, we can also add um, type forms uh, for our forms and add a, a payment uh, using Stripe and also add OAuth um, for our authentication and Google Analytics or even uh, search uh, using Algolia and all of these uh, services can be uh, served via uh, CDN um, uh, ultimately with the CI CD pipeline so for our hosting we can use Netlify uh, and obviously AWS and other services as well so let's take a look at the simple architecture behind the scene where we will firstly go through uh, serving our data through markdown files uh, inside our Gatsby project and later on we'll go through uh, integrating a headless CMS for our um, Gatsby project and which will be uh, powered by GraphQL ultimately and uh, the build file uh, that Gatsby generates would be HTML, CSS and React and later on we'll deploy that build file into our static host uh, provider and for that we will choose Netlify which is a great uh, deploying platform that you should check it out as well. And meanwhile, we will also be using their CI CD pipeline uh, into our application. Uh, so, uh, for our data source, we will be using Prismic. Uh, it's a dead simple headless CMS we will integrate to deliver our contents. I highly recommend you to follow along with me and build your next web application or uh, websites, whatever with the combination of Gatsby and Prismic powered by GraphQL data layer. I assume you have a solid understanding of HTML, CSS, JavaScript and a bit of React as well. So let's dive in for our installing our Gatsby site um, inside our machine. For installation, we can head on to its official documentation linked here. Now let's navigate to our docs and then inside here, quick start and hit to our tutorial and we want to go to set up your local development environment so inside here you can find all the uh, prerequisites that you need uh, in order to uh, get started with Gatsby and um, we have instruction for Mac and Windows as well as Linux so I'm personally uh, using Mac so I will uh, go ahead with the prerequisites needed for Mac and obviously I have Vue and Xcode installed and also I do have node install as well after installation of these three uh, prerequisites uh, we need uh, Gatsby CLI this particular command helps us to install Gatsby CLI 
uh, as a global flag so that we can create Gatsby project in any folders or files uh, that we want. So, um, so uh, I have already uh, installed Gatsby CLI as well. So uh, after installation of Gatsby CLI, we can head on to uh, Gatsby starters. Uh, we need uh, to start with the starters because it's highly recommended to start with the pre-made uh, starter templates. You can also even create your own um, configuration uh, gradually, but um, it's good to start with uh, the starter template. So I will copy this particular uh, command right here, which says Gatsby new and my default starter as a project name. And then this is the repository that we want to clone as well, which is this particular repository right here. So uh, let's go to our terminal and we want to navigate to our project and then and then let's paste the command here, uh, which uh, says my default starter. For now, we'll just uh, like keep the project name as the same, which is my default starter, because we just want to go through the um, files and architecture of Gatsby application first. Now let's uh, navigate to our project, and then we can open this in Visual Studio Code. Now uh, let's discuss about uh, the general architecture and uh, folder and file structure inside Gatsby project. So firstly, package.json file, which is this one. So uh, this is the core file for the entire build process. This is where all the project itself is defined with the name uh, right here. Uh, as we cloned uh, starter template, it has the name as Gatsby starter default and a description a version author and then we also have um, uh, the dependencies needed uh, for the application in order to run and these are dev dependencies for development environment and these are the dependencies for the uh, production build as well so um, this is also the place where uh, we can find the dependencies um, overall uh, of the project that is needed and um, and we do have a global and local dependencies as well. And also uh, in our project ahead, we will further add more dependencies, which ultimately gets added to our uh, package.json files right here. And this is also the place where we can find the scripts uh, we are using, uh, which is right here. And then uh, uh, these particular scripts run before deploying our site, um, uh, which is uh, build. Uh, this particular uh, command we, that we enter uh, inside our CLI before deploying our site and the, uh, this particular the block um, uh, is um, we run uh, this particular command when developing project locally and uh, Gatsby clean uh, here is uh, the command that we generally uh, ne uh, need uh, and we generally um, use to uh, clear out the cache files that we have created and also there are a lot of uh, other commands that uh, we can find here as well. You can also write your own custom scripts. And then we'll be also be going to three main scripts uh, throughout uh, this video tutorials, uh, which is build and then uh, for building our project, develop for developing our uh, project and clean for uh, cleaning out our cache files. Now the next file uh, that uh, we need to discuss about is Gatsby config file, so which is Gatsby uh, config.js, and um, uh, in this file we'll be working quite a lot uh, inside this file. Uh, this is the place where we can configure how Gatsby operates. Right now, uh, as you can see, that we have just have the site title, uh, which is uh, inside uh, this site meta object, uh, which consists of title, description, and author, uh, and then. We can definitely change the information here so that we can have it reflected overall in our product. And uh, next file we want to discuss about it is Gatsby uh, node.js file, uh, which we, we will also be covering later in the videos. And uh, Gatsby SSR uh, is for adding the server side rendering feature to our Gatsby application, but we won't be covering this in our videos. Uh, and the uh, uh, next one is Gatsby browser. And we also uh, won't be covering this. Uh, if you feel like knowing about uh, these um, these files and uh, what are they useful for, you can visit the links um, uh, commented over here. 
Talking about uh, the general Gatsby architecture, we have the majority of work in three main files, which is uh, SRC, the main source file, uh, and inside here we can define files to build components right here, and then pages and layout of the application. The pages folder here works the same uh, if you have used uh, like uh, Nuxt or uh, Next uh, or other similar static site generators before. If we create a new page, it becomes a route for that page uh, automatically. For example, if we make a contact page inside uh, pages right here, uh, then the contact route automatically uh, builds. So inside component, we have the component um, we want to uh, use uh, for our application. As we go ahead with the video series, we will configure Gatsby to automatically generate pages for us inside a template folder. Uh, which we will be later creating as well and uh, the static contents uh, goes inside the images and uh, some uh, Gatsby uh, bootstrapped uh, starters have uh, the uh, folder name as uh, static but we have images right here so it's generally the same uh, like serving static assets uh, for our application like icons images and so on uh, and uh, for the kind of like uh, source like markdown files, we will place them outside of SRC file as they are not really the part of code. So uh, that goes outside of the SRC file. And then we will always be covering um, the markdown files as well. And uh, so the Gatsby config will consist of um, plugins right here. And then it's con uh, consists of a lot of plugins uh, and uh, they are pretty much uh, defined plugins already and um, we uh, will use this uh, as we go along with our video series as well and Gatsby node uh, is the place where we instruct Gatsby node to perform actions outside of what Gatsby normally does and this is the place where we define our functionality that grabs markdown files and turn them into type of files and other complex handling logic inside this so uh, pretty much we will be going through the SRC file and then the, the Gatsby node and then Gatsby uh, config in the process of building our demo application in this video series. So guys, in this first model of the video, uh, we understood about the Gatsby and its folder structures. And um, uh, that's it for the first uh, uh, video. And thank you so much for uh, watching my videos. If you guys want to learn about design and development more, Please like, share and subscribe with a click down below. I'll be trying to make more better videos like this one. Uh, see you in the next one guys.